Mental Health Week, we here at Youth Talk are partnering with Upper Grand District School Board as well as the Wellington Catholic District School Board to talk about STRIVE, which is an ac acronym that stands for Stigma Reduction, Truth, Relationship, Identity, Vision, and Engagement. Before we begin, I want to introduce who we are. Um, we are bringing you this information today from CMHA's Youth Talk, which is a Guelph Wellington Dufferin mental health youth-led group. And our ultimate goal is to work together to challenge stigma by promoting mental wellness and educating our peers about mental health. We will be touching on the E in Strive, which is all about engagement. Our goal today is to discuss the importance of how being involved in different forms of engagement can actively support your mental health, as well as the benefit to engaging in activities that, that prioritize your mental health. You will also be hearing from a personal experience from one of our Youth Talk members on this topic. Engagement is defined as the state of being fully absorbed and focused on an activity, task, or relationship to the point where one feels a sense of fulfillment and enjoyment. It involves a deep connection between a person and their environment, task, or social interaction. Being involved in different forms of engagement is a great way to positively improve your mental health as it allows for a sense of purpose and accomplishment. Engagement can occur in a wide variety of contexts, such as hobbies, volunteering, different activities, and relationships. Additionally, engaging in different forms of engagement can help build individuals' resilience and coping skills while also providing a sense of balance to one's life. While considering what to engage in, keep in mind potential risks and negative effects that certain forms of engagement can have on your mental health. We know engagement in activities that are highly stressful or overwhelming, such as excessive screen time, can lead to isolation or social withdrawal. Additionally, engagement in activities that involve risky or harmful behaviors, such as substance use, can also increase the risk of impacting mental health in a negative way. We highly encourage you to consider moderation, balance, and self-care when engaging in any activity to ensure you are supporting your mental health and well-being. Engagement can take many different forms and can vary depending on a person's identity, interests, and life circumstances. Here are just some examples of how engagement can actively support your mental health. So, participating in hobbies or leisure activities that you may find enjoyable but also challenging. Um, this could be anything from playing a musical instrument to painting or even gardening. Engaging in physical activities that promote health and well-being, such as track and field, hockey, rugby, dance, or any other physical activity. As well, partaking in social activities with friends, family, or community members, such as attending events, volunteering for an organization, CMHA, Youth Talk, um, or just joining any school club. As well, engaging in activities that challenge the mind and promote cognitive function, such as reading, learning a new language, playing, or even playing Wordle. I love Wordle. And um, finally, taking part in activities that encourage creativity that foster self-expression, such as writing, drawing, or even playing music. As you can see, there are a variety of different forms of engagement that are available for everyone that are beneficial and promote positive well-being. If you're wondering how to get started on taking part in more engagement, try to explore different activities and find what really resonates with you. Here are some steps you can take to get started. Take some time and reflect on activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Consider what you value and how you can align your activities with those values. Be open to trying new activities or hobbies. Attend a class workshop on a topic that interests you or explore a new type of exercise or sport. Set goals for yourself that are achievable and meaningful, such as setting a goal to achieve a certain amount of volunteer hours before high school is complete. This can help you stay motivated and focused. Engage in activities that involve social interaction, such as joining a new club or team or volunteer. Connecting with others can provide a sense of belonging and create meaningful bonds. Remember that engagement is a personal journey, and it may take some time to find the right activities that resonate with you. Be patient with yourself and enjoy the process of exploring new opportunities for engagement. On that note, we're going to show you a clip of Alba, a Youth Talk member, who will be chatting more about engagement and what it means to them. Although mental health problems existed in previous generations, I feel like now is when we're getting more of a light shined on it and more people are being diagnosed with different things and reaching out for help. And because of this, I think that um, my generation should be more engaged and more aware of it because like everyone knows someone with mental health problems. 
I've always wanted to advocate in my community and voice my opinions and thoughts. And one day I walked to school and I saw like a youth talk poster on the wall. It seemed like a good way to get volunteer hours and learn more about like some things that my friends might have been struggling with. The thing that's amazing about school that is that it's a centralized place where all youth go on a daily basis. And although there are like great resources like um, counselors that students can access for free, I think there needs to be more resources. Sometimes I notice um, other like kids find um, mental health issues to be like something for sensitive people or like a joke or something that shouldn't be taken seriously. When I think of engagement, I think of that. I think that people should be taking this more seriously, especially because um, how relevant it is. Earlier, we discussed general engagement ideas that support our well-being, but we also wanted to take some time to note that there are different forms of engagement that you can take part in when you find yourself struggling with your mental health. If you find yourself struggling, try your best to turn to engagement activities that will lift your mood. This can include things like taking care of yourself by involving yourself in activities that promote emotional well-being, such as practicing mindfulness, going out into nature, engaging in self-care activities, or seeking support for your mental health. You should also ensure that you are getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, and engaging in some form of physical activity as we know, these are all aspects that need to be covered to guarantee we are taking care of our mental health. Some people find connecting with others who share the same values, beliefs, and interests can be a form of social engagement that can provide additional support when struggling. An example of social engagement might also include joining in initiatives that promote mental health, like Youth Talk. We all share in that goal of challenging stigma related to mental health, illness, and value, working toward the goal together. Being surrounded by others who are passionate about what you're passionate about is encouraging, especially when working toward a goal like challenging stigma. It helps to remember that you are not alone. It's also important to keep in mind that engaging with community will look different for different people and regardless of the differences, we all have something to contribute. And it's okay for those contributions to look different. Whether it's seemingly big or small, everything contributes to the bigger picture and wouldn't be the same without it. Youth often find it hard to engage in community or hold back out of the fear that their voices will not be heard or their knowledge will not be valued. They might also fear that they won't have control or a say in the process. Youth engagement can be a kind of check the box thing within some spaces and it can feel very inauthentic and ingenuine for youth. Know that you deserve to be heard and valued and you deserve to have a say because you are the experts of your own experiences and you can make a change. Also know that you can leave spaces where you feel inauthentic or ingenuine because protecting your mental health is important and you deserve nothing less. So regardless of where you are within your engagement journey, whether you were just beginning or you've just recently signed up for something or still looking for something that fits you, or you've even been actively engaging in different activities that fill your cup completely, we encourage you to be mindful and to pay attention. Make sure to check in with yourself and where you're at and also check in with the goals that you've already set for yourself. And most of all, Make sure to surround yourself with people that share that exact same hope.